Students are really wanting to learn, they're interested, they find it exciting. Before they'd say, oh, I can't do math. Now they'll give it a go. They love the hands-on activities, the color, and all of a sudden, they're believing in themselves. All the work almost is done on the laptops now, even just note-taking and those type things, all the way to assessment tasks, and even in some, or for year 11 and 12 sacks, they can sometimes use laptops. It's much easier just to get out your laptop and open a document and just start working. The genesis of FCJ College's laptop program probably goes back as far even as 2008 where we were having discussions amongst ourselves as to what we thought the future of learning was going to look like. It moved very rapidly with government policy with the DER and Gavin in particular was involved very much at that early stage in talking about, you know, we didn't know what education would look like but we thought in five to ten years time every student was going to be carrying some kind of a device. It was probably back three years ago, I suppose, when Kevin Rudd first announced that he was going to fund laptops or computers in schools for years 9 to 12. And we thought at that time that it was a really good opportunity to explore ICT use across the school. Gavin was instrumental in saying, yes, we can do this. We moved forward pretty quickly. Once we made the initial decision that we'd try to bring in one-to-one -one laptops, that turned out to be the easy decision. What we didn't know was that we'd have to make so many other decisions along the way. We were keen to help the students connect to ideas and information, to readily create and present their work, to collaborate online and hopefully to become more engaged in their learning. It makes it easier to understand because it's right in front of you instead of having to look up and down at the board. I think it has improved student engagement within the classroom. I'd say it's quicker because you have access to internet if you don't understand something. Students have become more highly skilled through the use of ICT since the introduction of laptops. The PD side of things, Debbie. Yeah, to get the, um, well, first of all, the staff on side and then students and parents, particularly the staff initially. So we worked a lot with developing their confidence in using the technology because we wanted them to see all the opportunities that it provided to enhance student learning in their classrooms. We also needed to work through the logistics. It was quite a dramatic change for them to suddenly have all students in the classroom with a laptop. So we had to work through what that meant for them as well. And then of course we ran boot camps for the families and students to give them some confidence in using the technology. We learnt the rules about how to use it and when we would use it. The effect of the program on staff was very interesting. We have a very experienced staff and a very capable staff and we also have a number of young enthusiastic members of staff. And what we found in working up towards the implementation was that it was the young staff leading the old staff because they were the ones who had the IT skills. And it's really led to a blossoming of the ability of those younger staff as well. It's also been a great exercise in collaborative teamwork by the entire staff. I had to change my whole way of teaching. Gone were the textbooks, the talk and chalk, with a sprinkle of technology and a little bit of um, hands-on. Now I had the technology in my class, I had the computers in my class, and we were using programs like Maths Online, Mathletics, both of course computer programs, and this was a major change for someone like me. We had a number of staff who would have been quite reluctant initially at the thought of a one-to-one -one program that they would A, be needing to use a computer and B, 
having to teach students with one. And one of the things that we did quite early on, as soon as we were, we were sure this was a, a way we wanted to go, we got laptops into our staff's hands that they were going to be using in the classrooms. I feel that they can be connected with the students more through the way that the laptops are used. They can go around individually, look at work, and they don't even, sometimes they don't even have to get up. They can stay at their desk. They can look at the work via you know, email, iChat, the different programs on the computer, and it makes it a lot easier for teachers to keep in touch with students on how they're going on certain projects. I think myself and other teachers have been forced to be more creative and innovative with their teaching. Many subjects now don't have textbooks. Perhaps another one of the challenges was the uh, for staff was developing that curriculum without the text. That's a, a, it was a big shift. And we did that in maths in seven and eight and that was, I think that was done very well, but it, it was a challenge to, to develop it initially. But I believe the students were much more engaged. I was involved in that part of the project. And we brought the laptops into the classroom and actually brought technology to the students instead of having to book a lab. And this program was really a platform for teaching to the individual needs and skills of the students. Sometimes we continue with a project that we've been given from the last lesson or we start a new project or we can look on the web and do some researching. Well, the laptops are just a really good way to uh, use to do things in class uh, and get work done. I think it encourages people to actually do things a bit differently because it's not just pen and paper, the same old thing. But I think Gavin and Debbie and the leadership at FCJ really made sure that the uh, one-to-one program wasn't the be-all and end-all, that it was actually a complementation to the strong curriculum. They've made an enormous contribution to the school and particularly the one-to-one -one laptop program that they drove uh, with their leadership. Debbie and Gavin, I really am so proud of you and I want to congratulate you for getting this award. You know that I'm not very good at technology and I only was able to make this change because of you, because you believed in me and you put the time into it. So, well done, you two. Debbie has been a long-serving member of the staff here at FCJ College and has worked in many roles and is a very important member of the team here. Her energy is amazing. Her grasp of detail is amazing. If you give Debbie a task, you know that it's going to be done and it's going to be done well. Um, that's a good question, Debbie. No, I think, um... Gavin, the one-to-one -one program wouldn't have happened without your confidence that we could do it and your leadership of bringing people on board and helping them to see that they could do it too. Mr Dykes and Ms Saunders would really deserve this award because they've worked so hard for it. Debbie and Gavin, congratulations on winning the award. It's a well-deserved re reward for both of you. Fantastic effort. Uh, to Gavin and Debbie, uh, congratulations on the and even when they had to face doubts, hurdles, challenges, they never gave up and they went that extra mile, all for the students. Thanks Debbie and Gavin for doing the hard work to take a good idea to reality. <laughs>